Hello guys. In this video, we will learn how to color grade a normal footage like this. Before that, once again, welcome back to Dark Wolf VFX Studio. For that, I added this clip to our timeline. Now, go to color grading tab. Here, we get a node section, a viewer, and a primary color wheel. Now, go to the node window. Here, you cannot see the node section. Click on the node icon and turn on the node section. Now, right click on the node and choose the option node label. I give a name main. After that, I need to add a serial node. For that, right click here and choose the option add node then add serial node. You can use the shortcut Alt S or option S. Great. In this node, we can reduce the over white shade from this video. For that, click on the node and come here. Here you can see an option lift. Under the lift, you can see a scroller. By scrolling backward or left side, you get a color like this. Here, you can see the parade. The important thing is that the value should be in between 0 and 1023. I mean, the color do not cross the limit. Now, back to the node and right click here, add a node label, lift white. Okay. After that, add a serial node. In this, we can adjust some contrast. I reduce some contrast for getting these details. Add the node label as contrast. Now, add one more serial node using the shortcut Alt S Option S. In this node, we can adjust the saturation of this video. Here, you can reduce the saturation or increase the saturation to get a natural look. In this case, I change the saturation to 60. I mean, I increase the saturation a little bit. Give a name, saturation or sat. After that, add a serial node. In this node, we can reduce the highlight of this video. Here, we can see the light is over highlighted. So, we can reduce some highlight. In this case, minus 30 is enough. Here, we can add a level. Highlight. After that, I add a serial node. In this serial node, you can adjust the shadows of this video. In this case, I added the value 20. The color balancing section is over. Now we can go to color grading section. For that, I added a serial node and come to primary color wheels. As the first step, I am going to lift and change the lift color like this in between green and yellow. Now we can add a label lift color. Now I am going to add one more serial node. In this node, we can change the gain color like this. In between yellow and red. Now, I added one more serial node. In this node, we can change the offset color like this. After that, I added one more serial node. Click on the node and go to curve. Here, we can see an option hue versus hue. Click that. Using hue versus hue, we can change the green color to blue. For that, select the green color using the color picker or you can click on green. Now, we can adjust the point like this. To expand green color, now click on the middle point and drag it to downwards. And you can adjust the color like this. After that, I added one more serial node. In this node, we can go to curves, hue versus saturation. Click that and select this color. Now, we can expand the point like this and reduce the saturation uh, looking like this. Now, I'm going to add one more serial node. In this node, we can adjust the offset color looking like this. 
in between blue and green. After that, I added the final node. In this node, we can reduce some shadow. Also, we can add one more serial node or reduce the saturation or increase the saturation. I think uh, the saturation should be 45. Now, we can go to the preview window or viewer. Here, we can see an icon. Click that for before view and the after view. For a final adjustment, you can add a serial node. In this, you can adjust the shadow, highlight, saturation, etc. Now, we get a color grid like this. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. See you in next time.